any national swimming coach in the, in the country aspires that one day they might get inducted to this Swimming Hall of Fame, and it's a dream that I've had for years, and now it's become a reality, and I'm, I'm elated to, that this occurred. I had a passion to be the number one, you know, best coach if I could in the, in the country, and I knew that that was gonna take, that I had to out-coach and put in more hours of practice than anyone else, and that's what I did, and it paid off. It's more than just being on the pool deck coaching. You have to be there, I think, and educate and talk to your swimmers about uh, what they want to do with their life and that someday, you know, they were, they were going to have to leave the sport of swimming and uh, they should prepare their life to do that. I guess I tried to uh, sell the swimmers on some really decent values and standards of behavior and that they would uh, use those things one that we had was that the, the team was more important than the indiv individual's performances, and I think that applies later in life. You go work for a corporation or somewhere, you better not, you better be able to get on the team, be a team player. And I think uh, the dedication, you know, the, uh, the, the things that they learned through swimming, you know, the hours of getting up at 5.30 in the morning to go practice, work out twice a day, they tell me today that those, those standards of behavior and values have helped them be successful in their careers today. One nice thing about waiting this long to get inducted, if I had been inducted back 40 years ago, most of my swimmers were probably just in college and whatnot. Now, you know, it's uh, you know, 40 years later and they're all into successful careers and whatnot. And you know, I'm, I'm just elated when I hear about uh, People such as Bob Dudley, who turned TV on one night and see that he's the new CEO of uh, British Petroleum, uh, and, and that just uh, gives me a thrill. John Kinsella, Sandy Buca, Bob Dudley got an inducted into the Hall of Fame based upon what they did, their performances. Okay, I'm going to get this award based upon what. Uh, not what I did. I'm there as a representative of what they did with their careers. And I wouldn't be there they, without, their, without uh, them. And I wanna, want them to know that, that I stand there representing uh, all of them, you know, the, the thousands of uh, boys and girls I had an opportunity to work with. And behind every successful man stands a, stands a woman, and Janet was that woman standing behind me. And, helping me. I can't tell you the number of parties that we put on after celebrating state meets. She'd be the one putting those parties on, not me. I mean, I just walk in and <laughs> get <laughs> the pats on the back for winning the state championships, and she's the one that planned all of this, you know. But, uh, yeah, she was uh, never got credit, enough credit for what she did for, you know, for my career. Yeah. <music>